Hello everybody, it's Chris Frame here in Bristol and this is Brunel's Great Britain and how fantastic is this? How often do you get an opportunity to see one of the original ocean liners and a ship that was extremely important in the ocean liner story? So it's very exciting to be here and present to you the Great Britain. So let's have a look on board and we'll also check out the museum and the underneath of the ship uh, thanks to the dry dock. So you can see the ship's here in its original dock that it was built in, in Bristol, and its top side has been beautifully updated and refurbished. And you can just make out how wonderful the paintwork is and how lovingly she's been restored in this shot. And you can see they're looking up the mast and the original funnel there. Now in the dock you can actually look at the original condition of the ship as she was found in the Falklands and you can see how worn out and weathered she was when she was rescued and preserved. And here we can see what makes her so famous and so special, her screw propeller. And of course Brunel was revolutionary in his adoption of the propeller on this ship. And stepping on board you can see the details like the ship's bell on the wooden deck. And another shot there up those beautiful masts. Of course, she was steam driven but also had auxiliary sails. Inside the ship, we can now see first class accommodation. It's bunks in first class. Uh, it's a bit higher headroom than I expected, but the beds were quite short. And this is another view of that same cabin, but this is of the seating area with a porthole, so it was quite generous for the time. This is the dining room and you can see the chairs, the banquet seating and of course it's set up to look as if it's about to serve one of the main meals. And then this is a look at what was pretty much a postage stamp sized cabin and it was steerage. Back in first, some seating areas outside the cabin doors and you can see this is the fixtures and fittings that are of the period. And having a look down below, you can see the revolutionary engine that was used, the steam engine that Brunel designed and put inside the ship in her original configuration. And this engine actually operates as a working model, so it moves when you're there uh, on board the ship. Now this view here is of the inside of the hull with none of the fixtures and fittings inside it, so it gives you an idea of how the hull was braced from the inside. And then back on deck, they used to carry cows and chickens for fresh produce on the ships. There was no refrigeration, and here is the cow. So that ends our short tour. It was an absolute thrill to be on board such an iconic ship, and I encourage you to visit if you're ever in Bristol.